Hello. <coughs> Good evening, everybody. Meeting again in the session of Madhya Medica. We have finished very important polycrest from your Madhya Medica, that is the calcarea cup. And it took three consecutive lectures to explain it only through the LNSP notes. A wide remedy, great antisoric remedy, which we have discussed. And today we are going to discuss a similar type of remedy from the Matreya Medica. Again, a great antisoric, but having a tinge of psychotic miasm dominating over there along with soric and sebilitic also a little bit. A great polycrest and a constitutional remedy, the lycopodium. Again, having a similar aspect like Kalkiria cup, it has multidimensional aspects and it works on every system inside your body. And that's why we're going to learn this remedy. First, we'll discuss regarding some cases. There are different thoughts in our mind sometimes regarding certain remedies. Lycopodium is deep acting remedy. Yes, lycopodium is very deep acting remedies, but remedy. But one thing is clear that many times it produces acute results also. To my surprise, there was one patient, it was early in my practice, 1994-95. One patient was brought to me. I took his case at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon and he was brought directly from Nasik. He, he took the AMA discharge from one hospital, urology, and came directly to my clinic. He had a severe right ureteric colic since last 8 to 10 days before that. And he was treated in Sangamner with a hydrotherapy. Nothing happened. There was a stone at the um, specifically lower end of the ureter and which was not coming out. With hydrotherapy, it has not recovered. So patient was shifted to Nasik one urology hospital. They tried with the scope, but it never came out. Then they tried again a hydrotherapy and it was not coming out. So patient was in agony. Every six hours, eight hours, he requires a, a painkiller and injection and with which six to eight hours he used to remain normal. And then he was frustrated and one of my patients who was who met him over there and they took the discharge and they came directly after taking an injection over there and they came to the center. I took his whole history. The, everything was there. It is right urethrically pain is going from right lumbar region to the groin area. The patient is suffering a lot. He is not able to Mm, he was having good appetite, but he was not able to eat. Then he was typically having a semi-dropsical constitution. All those things which are there with the lycopodium, which were present. And specifically, the right side was affected. He was having very severe pain, lower abdomen, with a lot of flatulence over there. And he told me that he used to get support every time with the flatulence. Whenever he used to consume the pulses, whenever he used to consume the all varieties of the um, uh, dals, all those things used to produce a lot of uh, flatulence. So ultimately, I came to the conclusion that he is having he is a lycopodium with all its aspects, and I put a one dose of lycopodium put in his mouth, and I was preparing for second and third. And he asked me within a minute, he asked me, sir, I got an urge for urination. So where is the bathroom? And he went to the bathroom and he came and he brought the stone. The stone which was obstructed over there at the specifically lower end of ureter and the mm, yeah, bladder junction, that specifically gets released after a right stimulus of lycopodium. I have given him lycopodium 200, mostly in moderate dose. And with single dose, it, get, it got released. And that release itself came out directly in the bladder. And patient came with the stone. 
such a fantastic action lycopodium can produce and it has very specifically the action on the urinary bladder, ureter, kidneys and specifically renal calculi. So that acute result I have seen with the lycopodium. Second case was very interesting. The thought was there always in my mind that hernias are always mechanical and they require surgery. One patient was brought to me for some respiratory complaints and after took, I took his history, everything, and he was found to be a very typically having a cup of and on. He used to suffer from cup of and on whenever there is a changes in the weather and then he used to suffer from coriza. One more thing he used to, ex he explained that he got a recurrent pneumonia and every time it happened to the right side. When I was observing, taking his case, he was having a typical thing that there was a flapping of LNEs, dilatation of nostrils, and that motions of wings fan like was very typical with him with this frowning aspect. A child of six years, seven years having this frowning and this um, motions of wingspan like uh, and they are correlated with the, his respiration. That was an incidence. I took whole history and he was he was craving for uh, sweets much more and he was little bit very cowardice, little bit timid. But his mother told that doctor he's, he, he fears to do many things. We have to push him. But once he has pushed, he does. He performs. So even in school, I, we have pushed him on stage for the um, for, for some speech. And before he was not, he was saying, I will not go and etc. And when we pushed and he performed so well, the whole case revolving around the lycopodium. And all of a sudden, while examining, his mother asked that doctor, is there any um, remedy for the hernia? Uh, so I asked to whom? No, this child is having inguinal hernia. And doctor has said that it should be operated, but till we have not decided. So I asked, since so many times it is there. They said, it is. she said that it is just a um, question of six months it is there. And then I examined him and he was found a clear-cut, reducible inguinal hernia. So thought was there that this is a mechanical problem and it will not going to settle without with uh, without a surgery. That was thought remaining in my mind since many, many years. So I started remedy lycopodium with him. I have given three doses of three or six doses of lycopodium 30 along with um, a placebo or something, some acute um, biochemic remedy. I don't know. It is a long back. And we started the remedy. After that, he settled at all levels. His cup settled. There were, um, uh, after period of two, three months, his cup has completely disappeared. Coroids are disappeared. And he's, he found to be normal. And when I was examining him every time, curiously, regarding his hernia, and to my surprise, within span of six to seven, eight months, that hernia also completely reduced. It was completely disappeared. Even after strain, it, there was no trace of hernia, which was a different. In fact, it has given absolutely a different thought in my mind that every every time hernias are not a mechanical and it never requires surgery. And thereafter, I started treating the hernias, and we have very good results with Naxvamika, the Lycopodium. These are the very common remedies which comes in the hernia, specifically the umbilical hernia. Nux plays a very vital role. So Lycopodium worked in that case also. The third case was of a young adult, just 30 years of age, and he developed a impotency. He was looking like an old man, premature old looking because he was having a gray hairs. I asked how many days he, he said 10 years I am having gray hairs. Then second important thing he was very typically a fat the lower half of the body was fat 
The third important thing which was there, he was craving farinaceous food and craving for sweet was tremendous with that fellow. He, he never wanted to do a um, physical work. He never liked to do a um, exercise. And he was a person who used uh, who, who was a businessman and his thoughts are always, always, always related with the business and business and business. Finish. He said, we are born with the business and that's why business aptitude was there with them. So that, that fellow was having an impotency. In fact, there were a lot of desire, but every time he used to get a premature ejaculation and second important thing, many a times he never able to continue with the mm, process of question. He used to get very easily affected by that. And he was disturbed because of it. So he asked, is there any solution in homeopathy? And he was found to be a very clear-cut, again, a mm, very clear-cut case of a mm, lycopodium. So in this case, being having a good strength, susceptibility, and every mentals, all those things which define that remedy should be given in high potency. I have started with directly with the lycopodium 1M, few doses, followed by uh, most probably a bicombination 20M. So, after a span of one month, he was completely cured with his problem. Because these very specific things are defined in lycopodium, that they are having a premature old age with premature ejaculation with an impotency. These are the things which are quite common with the lycopodium. And lycopodium always, you, you easily catch lycopodium with certain things. If you are able to watch, make a habit of reading the face. The face, generally you will find, find it out, a greasy face with a typical motions of wingspan, like a third thing, a frowning. Then fourth thing, the upper half is small and lower half of the body is big. These are quite common and belly is quite big in those personalities. These persons are very, very business-minded people and they always think in the business thoughts. So you can easily catch this core of the remedy in many patients with which you can approach and you can catch that. So that fellow was very easily settled with the lycopodium in a high potency. So these are the few cases. Tomorrow we'll, we have to understand this remedy in at least three lectures. Tomorrow I will share a few more cases of lycopodium. It is the most common remedy in our day-to-day -day practice. Most common, in fact, like a calcarea cup, this is the remedy which used to come every time whenever we used to practice homeopathy. And that's why one must understand the lycopodium clavatum in detail. So let us go with the Allen's keynotes. We'll learn few aspects, at least constitution in today's lecture. Lycopodium clavatum, which is called as a wolf's foot or club moss. The family is lycopodaceae. See, the first paragraph defines the constitution of the lipo. For persons intellectually keen, they are very intelligent, but physically weak. Upper part of the body is emaciated and lower part of is semi-dropsical. And this is the theme of the lycopodium. Predisposed to the lung and hepatic affections. Very common with the lycopodium. Lung and hepatic affections are more common like calcarea, then phosphorus, like sulfur. All are polycrystal. All are polygon, especially with the extremes of life, the children as well as old people like Aurum Metallicum, or like Barata Kaab, like Kona Immaculatum, extreme, two extremes, one side of children, another side old age, like Picric Acid, where you can get this same thing. So extremes of life, lycopodium like plays very vital role and you get lycopodium like in children more commonly. Also, you get lycopodium in old person more common. And not only that, even in an adult age, you get the lycopodium many times in your practice. So this is the constitution which is defined by an alien and it has a significance. And second important thing which I want to tell you that every time try to read the ascertainable physical constitution, which is the first hint in your regarding your remedy. Write down the constitution, how the person looks like. 
So premature graying of hairs, which you can easily observe. The male pattern baldness, though both sides it goes down, back side, that is male pattern baldness is another characteristic of lycopodium. So you have to catch these characteristics, which are very specific to the lycopodium. The faces are greasy, the like nose, either it is dilated nostrils or either fan-like motion of palinida. You can easily watch the frowning, the frontal frowning, which is very common. This is with very common with the lycopodium. They are very intellectual, very business minded, which you catch very easily. Second important theme which he explains, deep-seated progressive chronic diseases. So lycopodium is a remedy for deep-seated progressive chronic diseases. Very, very, very important remedy. And that's why lycopodium, don't take lycopodium as a superficial remedy. It is very depicting remedy. Pains are, now he defines the pains of lycopodium and how they are, they are aching. They are pre aching pressure. Aching uh, word, if you if you know the Marathi, aching manje rag lagna. If you um, find it out, it is a continuous type of pain which is persistent over there is aching pain. Drawing, khetsalya sarko, odilya sarko atma. Chiefly the right-sided. See, the pains are specially on the right-sidedness. Side determination is also very important. When things are on more on right side, the you must know the right-sided remedy. Then if, when it goes from right to left, again the lycopodium is very important. If it goes from right to left and again left to right, then it is like lacaninum. If it is opposite to it from left side, it starts and goes to the right, then it is like cases. So you have to understand the remedies like this. They are close to each other. And com by comparing, by analyzing, you never forget. Lycopodium, when you learn the lycopodium, immediately learn the lacasis. Two remedies very close at every level, but absolutely having two different parts. One is right-sided, another is left-sided. So these, these things were, one must look for. Aggravation 4 to 8 p.m. given in bold, and this is the general modality of this remedy. Very important modality of this remedy, the evening aggravation, generally specifically for from 4 to 8 p.m. There are very few remedies which are having very similar modality. There is one more elaborous is there having the similar modality. Then 4 to 9 p.m. there is colosynth, which is another remedy which has the 4 to 9 p.m. aggravation. So these are very important time modalities and time modalities many a times defines a perfect remedy for you. Okay. Then he explains affects right side or pain goes from right to left from throat, in, in the throat, in the chest, in the abdomen, in the liver region, in the ovary. So everywhere this, this characteristic is present. It starts on right side and it turns towards the left. And basically, it is a right-sided remedy. Now he explains the constitution of a children. Children we have, who are very weak, emaciated, with very developed head, but puny, sickly body. So head is big and body is weak in children. Puny body, like a silica. This remedy is having similar type of constitution because silica is one of the important ingredient of this lycopodium plant. And that's why lycopodium and silica goes hand in hand at all levels. Even at the constitutional level, they are, they are very similar to each other. Lycopodium constitution and silica constitution looks like same. Cowardice is both in rain, both remedies. Loss of confidence is there in both remedies. But lycopodium is a performer. Before going to the stage, he is cowardice, but he goes and performs. Silicia remains over there. Silicia never performs. Silicia remains over there, never have a capacity to go on stage. So, minute differences which you have to catch over there to find it out exact remedy. Puny means those who are absolutely emaciated. Puny. Hardkola, Marathi Tapan, we call it Hardkola. Baby cries all day and sleeps all night. Good sign for the mothers. This is good, but it is 
reverse of two remedies the jalapa is very important remedy and sorainam where the they they remain healthy um, they plays whole night and sleeps whole day they cries more all at a night the troubles at a night jalapa jalapa is a very good remedy for that purpose and another is sorainam so this is reverse in case of lycopodium then he explains the oh, elements from and these elements whatever may be the complaint so elements develop because of pride so they are afraid of doing something new they are always prideful coward like that's the good word for the lycopodium they are elements from pride elements from anger they get angry but they don't have confidence to fight with the situation many times this is very typical with the lycopodium lycopodium have anger they get angry because of mortification mortification means someone says bad words against you apman kela someone um, uh, scolds you in front of anyone and you they get angry but they don't have a capacity to fight they get vexed vexation but with a reserved displeasure they keeps it inside they never liked that but they never show it they tries to hide it inside like a stapi segret stapi segret gets angry but never have capacity never directly faces me near time it is very close to the like of Vicopodium doesn't try try to show the anger because there is one fear that um, he doesn't have capacity to fight. That is psychotic aspect. Second important thing, uh, Lycopodium wants to lead, and Lycopodium leads with a power of love. That is very unique with the Lycopodium. They they um, handles they dominates with everyone. Dictatorial is one important room uh, rubric. they dominate but they dominates with the power of love they handles the situation with love not with the quarreling basically they never wants to quarrel because of cowardice so that is another important future of lycopodium they are irritable peevish and cross and wicked this is related with the children this this paragraph is related with the basically this first few things they are quite irritable peevish peevish manje ti takrar kor chid kor cross they always cross is you cross and waking ugly kick and screams easily angered cannot endure opposition or contradiction this is one problem with the lycopodium they cannot tolerate contradiction they cannot tolerate the opposition six disputes is beside himself beside himself is a phrase it means getting tremendous angry with self tremendous anger beside himself ati prakshubdha hona tremendous anger which develops is called as besides himself so lycopodium has all those qualities but lycopodium never shows it directly lycopodium is a very dominating remedy but it dominates with a different aspect because he wants to lead everywhere they are good politician they are very good politicians and always likes company along with them they never remains alone they they dreads to be alone that is very typical with the lycopodium personality they are, they always wants the people surrounding then another thing which is mentioned related with the children weeps all day cannot calm comes herself they goes on weeping very sensitive one cries when thanked that is the another quality of lycopodium they are so sensitive and emotional someone says thank they get the <laughs> immediately like remission weeping if you would have watched the earlier matches of the tennis players the steffi grap and monica selis they were uh, wimbledon uh, they are they were the tennis players and who um, won many matches grand slam matches and both of them were the opposing opponents many a time in the final one is right handed steffi grap and left handed was monica selis 
and you if you watch that you will see the it is a match between lycopodium and lachesis when it's typically of a typical lyco nature stratigraph right handed which tremendous emotionally if she weep means she used to weep when she loses she used to weep this is very with the very classical with the stepi against that the monica celes was there who used to fight and every thing like this this shot was there this was very typical um, photograph used to happen over there on the times of india every time whenever she used to win the title so that was and every shot used to moan oh, so, so. so that was very typical with the monica sel and she was left handed she used to look towards herself with a typical animal attractiveness so a pink medi white t-shirt white uh shoes with pink lace and everything everything that is it very uh, trying to show herself attractiveness that was characteristic of animal remedies which found to be there with the with the monica celes so we we must look towards everything with the homeopathic angle then you learn homeopathy very simple way dread of men will finish this only the trade of men that is very important they are fearful regarding the men new company they are there is a fear in their mind to meet new peoples dread yeah. of solitude also they never remains alone there is fear of remaining alone they are irritable and melancholic whenever they get disturbed they get up, get disturbed and melancholic melancholic becomes sad fear of being being alone and that was the characteristic thing which is present in lycopodium like bismuth like kalika like ilium tea these are the remedies which never wants to be remain alone they are having the fear in fact dread and that is very typical with the lycopodium and last sentence which we will learn is the complexion complexion is the skin color Uh, appearance complexion is pale dirty unhealthy sallow sallow on the finger with deep furrows these are deep furrows over there either mm, horizontal either vertical looks older than he is that is very characteristic so premature old age and lastly the fan like motion of alien is i like antim tartarica so this is the constitution of the lycopodium children as well as lycopodium adults or lycopodium people so one aspect of lycopodium we have learned today in this session tomorrow we will going to learn a uh, next aspect mm. uh, about the lycopodium with few more cases there are many many cases which i can share so um, this is the wonderful remedy one has to understand dr ashish has asked sir which book are you referring i am referring i am reading allen only in front of you the uh, since last 30 um, 7 years of my homeopathic life i have read many more so there is no specific thing that uh, with which i am teaching there is there is a collection of many things in my mind because i have read it from the physiological mathematics from the bird i have read it from the george wittelkas essence of remedies i have read it from shankaran i have read it from allen i have read it from borik i have read it from kent i have read it from tyler i have read it from nm saudhari there are many books it is not single book with which i am discussing all those things so it's a collection which develops a idea regarding the lycopodium in your mind so uh, this is one important thing pile has asked one thing so sir how to differentiate osimum can and lycopodium renal colic as both are right sided basically lycopodium is the remedy is which is constitutional remedy osimum can is the organ remedy my suggestion practical utilization is that you can give a, con a constitutional as a remedy if the if it is there with the patient so if patient is lycopodium give the lycopodium if patient is not lycopodium you should not give the lycopodium that is so clear but regarding the osimum can 
in the mother tincture form, that is in the material form, you can prescribe that remedy in the material form as to remove the, or to throw away the stones from the body. So you can utilize the material doses that is the mother tincture 10 drops or 15 drops two times or three times a day. And then that purpose is to expel the stone from the ureter. But asimum can is never is a not a constitutional remedy. So asimum can will not going to cure. Asimum can will be a, is a remedy to remove stones only to stop the tendency to stop the formation of stone. You will require the constitutional remedy, and that's why it is not possible to. You are with the simum can. It is possible to relieve the pains with the simum can. So this this aspect one must develop in mind. So constitutional works at all levels and stops the degenerative process or stops the disease process. And once disease process is stopped, there will be no more stone formation. Okay. Anything else? Any queries? Any questions? Yes, person. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks being there. We'll meet tomorrow with the further aspect. I think it will also take a three lectures to discuss lycopodium because there are many cases which I can share with the lycopodium. So tomorrow we'll discuss few cases and then another part of the session, uh, another part related with the lycopodium we'll learn into work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you being there. Thanks a lot.